If it's a 7 or an 11, you win. It's not often you can learn how to play craps for college credit. We all know what happens when you lose. They take your money. Dr. Timothy Norfolk is teaching a one-week workshop called The Mathematics of Casino Gambling at the University of Akron. It's not dumb luck that day one of the class fell on the opening day of the horseshoe. The point of, the, uh, of it is to have people enjoy themselves without losing too much money. Dr. Norfolk can rattle off the probability of winning most casino games or the odds that the house will take your cash. In blackjack, you've got... If I remember correctly, it's somewhere around 40-some percent chance of winning a hand. He told the class to roll the dice with craps. It offers the best odds. Because the, the percentage that the house takes of any given bet is the smallest. And a game where you shouldn't place your bets? Roulette is just about the worst table game there is percentage-wise. And while slot machines are very popular, Norfolk says the odds of scoring big are awful. Most people who play slots actually lose money, more money than they would do playing a table. Game. Norfolk says gamblers need to remember overall the house always wins, taking about two to six percent on each bet or worse. Keno, depending on the conditions, it's up to 20 percent. Here's one tip to help your chances ask the casino for a basic strategy card for a game like blackjack. It will tell you exactly what to do in every given situation. The mathematician's final piece of advice find a game you enjoy, but play as little money as possible and just expect to lose it. In Akron, Bob Jones, News Channel 5.